Well, what's the crack? How's it going? You're all very welcome to the Bookshot Network. Huh? Network. Mm-hmm. But it is, I mean, there's a lot going on now with the old Bookshot thing, you know. So this is the RamblePod slash RamblePod uh, slash Bookshot regular slash I wasn't doing a guest this week because herself has been backed by quite popular demand. Mm, so this is, I think this is like number 93 or something of the Rama Pods featuring Natasha. Natasha. As a lot of people spell your name for some unknown fucking reason, they put Natasha in there. It's exotic. Is it? I, yeah. <laughs> What's the crack, everybody? If you are brand new, of course, hit subscribe. You know the deal. It's, you know. Whatever you're listening or watching on, for the Patreons, you will be watching this because you'll get the video, of course. This is we're recording today is what, the 20... 29th. Well done. 29th of July, 2020. And this will go out tomorrow night. This will go out for the, the Patreons. So you get the videos. And there's been some lovely comments coming in. Some fine comments coming in. So feel free when you do listen or watch it. Do an old screen grab or let me know where you're listening. Big shout out to the Patreons. We have a new Patreon on this week. Uh, Stephen, airplane, good man, contributing to the show because that's what it is. Uh, you know the crack. You know what it's all about at this stage. Major shout out to uh, Big Dave out west. He, very generous offer. Gave the explanation as to very, like he is a, pay, a, wee, a monthly Patreon anyway, but he gave a, a one-time only very, very generous offer to say thanks. You know, he feels like he should be paying for comedy anyway. And the likes of the Buckshot Sideshow, I think, really is the, is, the, is the one. So if you haven't seen that and you want to see a bunch of grown men and the odd time a woman, which he agrees to do it, comedian, just basically abuse the head off each other, loosely based around a comedy game show. We're probably going to do a couple, you know, outtakes and stuff because although sometimes I don't know if we can actually air a lot of it, it's a, a kind of a green room chat beforehand while we're getting all the cameras lined up and all and it's fucking gold i wish you could sit in for it and i i bet you any money most of the patrons you'd be absolutely grand with some of the weird shit we talk about we're yeah we we can't not weird shit but just a bit of scandal as well like do, does that you know it's a dozen a gang of friends but when you get comedians we're all got the chainsaw running so i think i will have to set up a green room of sorts because it's a good way to vent and that's what the sideshow essentially is the lads act a dick the whole way through it, but it is funny. Have you watched any of it? It's excellent. No, you haven't fucking watched it any of it. It is amazing. <laughs> One of my favourite shows online. <laughs> it should be on TV. It's one of your favourite Irish live streamed comedy game shows. Tell you. I can't, I can't miss top it. Top five anyway. Top five. Yeah. I can't miss it on a Friday every week. Jesus Christ. So my thanks to the patrons for continuing payment. Uh, a contribution and for that you get the videos and you get early release of everything and especially the likes of the green room you're going to get that maybe i don't know i'm going to i'm going to maybe stockpile a bunch of them and release them only to patrons absolutely only to patrons because i see one or two big podcasts are moving purely to patreon because you know we ain't getting out to gigs so we should be producing more stuff which essentially i am so that's it that's the story so if you want to want to help out for the new computer really is the big one I mean, you've got the lighting. More lighting is needed. But the good camera. You've got other bits and pieces. It's all been as a result of the Patreon. And we're getting there now. We're getting there. We have a nice little stockpile of cash sitting in the old uh, the PayPal. And that will be going towards the computer. Towards Hopefully, we'll get there towards the end of August. And the computer will mean I can render the videos. I have a ton of videos of recorded podcasts and stuff that quite literally, I just can't render fast enough. And, you know and produce fast enough. That's the whole reason behind it. I want to get out more stuff to you. Uh, that's it in the way of, of thanks very much. Hey, very nice compliments on the last guest. Not just you. You were, yeah, people liked you. But people really like Rich as well. Rich is very honest and stuff about how he was a bit of a dick back in the day, you know, and stuff like that. And he's fucking sorting himself out. And I'm hopefully a few people went over and listened to his podcast. I'm going to hopefully try to get his wife on. Although I think they're in a continuous battle. Or not wife, his partner. Fuck it. I don't know what. She's yeah. amazing. I know, but I wanted. To, I feel like I should produce cakes or something. Because she, what's the name of the show she hosts? Delicious Fabulous or something. Is it Crazy Delicious, is it? Is that what she, is that her show? Yeah, I can't think of the name. I'm having a mind fart. It's basically, they do crazy desserts and it's kind of set. On no, this, it's everything. 
Is it everything? Yeah, in the most magical setting. Then you can eat oh, everything. Oh, did you? Because it, it, didn't your man do pink chicken? Crazy wings? delicious. Crazy. De- I was fucking right. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you what it is now, Tom. It's crazy delicious. Wine. We can, and the great thing is, this is recorded. I can actually go back and listen to it. <laughs> That's the great thing about that. She is the Willy Wonka of our day. Yeah, I was. I and I don't know why I was shocked to find that her hair was actually a wig. Is it? Yeah, she's got quite short hair. Oh no, I feel silly for dyeing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> she was my inspo. You could have gotten a decent wig all along. I'm guessing. I'm guessing Channel Four or whoever make it. It's a decent wig. That's amazing. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a decent. So yeah, to hopefully get her on. She seems like a bit of crack. What else? Yes, tomorrow night, Thursday night. Well, as you'll hear this as podcast Reno's the regular folk. You'll hear this on Friday morning. Go back and look at last night's sideshow. We had to move this week to Thursday because we're under through Gordo and his setup, and he wasn't free until. Thursday night. So, if you for the podcast guess that if you get this early, if you get this, I should get this out later on tonight. The actual audio of this, and if so, and you're hearing it, go listen to it live. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is something I've never said. No, well, not. It's just I never say subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's like, <laughs> hey guys, uh, click the bell. Now, nah, well, you know, do click the bell and hit subscribe. Weirdly. I have over 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, because of the ghost show? Yeah, all because of the ghost show. All because of the ghost show. You do more ghost stuff. I fucking should do more ghost stuff. People are like... I could go with you. You would piss your pants. Yes. Probably. Who wants to see a grown woman piss her pants? (laughs) Actually, I think Loftus Hall might be for sale. Is it? I wouldn't buy it. Why? It's too scary. It's not scary. Plus, there'd always be a smell of piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why Ood and Natasha smell of piss. <laughs> sure, isn't that why you love me? That's why it's just that tang. Mmm, that tang. Uh, is that the housekeeping? Yeah, hard no podcast. I have one. It's in the chamber. I should have it edited, hopefully. Hopefully in today or tomorrow I should have it edited for and that'll be out before the weekend as well for the Patreons. It'll be out possibly over the weekend for every other folk as you will hear this. So that's episode 13 of Heart Up Podcast. If it's the first time you haven't come across that before, what the fuck are you doing? It's doing great. It's doing great in the downloads. So it's myself and Owen Colgan talking shite for about an hour and a half. That's all that shit out of the way. That's the housekeeping as they say. Out of the way. Lovely. It can go on, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> how long have we been here what are those my feet I don't know I, I should have looked at the time where we actually started oh yeah yeah, we are about 10 I minutes. have no tea left oh Jesus Christ All right, I'm on to no, no, water no 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 more tea for you now you've had how many cups today no just in the last half an hour three three cups decaf oh we're at that stage in our life people where we, uh, when do we do that? When do we switch to decaf after in the evening time? Oh, when I gave up caffeine. Oh, so we gave up caffeine, did we? Is that what no, I said? I gave up All caffeine right. and you decided to join me in the evening times, yeah. But then only in the evening times, like if I drink, if, if, if I'm gigging or if we both have a load of work to be doing in the evening, we'll drink regular tea. Like you were going to drink your bullion that you didn't have a barrel. I actually wanted to make coffee, but I didn't have time. You're going to have coffee at this? No, you can't make a coffee because we're recording this now. We'll be here all night with you making coffees. Christ, would we not train train the dog to make a coffee? Such is life. Where's the dog? Oh, I think she's sleeping in there. Ah, pure take now. She doesn't have her own seat to sit up between us. So that's, yeah, that's everything out of the way. Your tea and everything else. So the, yeah, latest news today. Do you hear this? There's a Hong Konger. I didn't realize they were called Hong Kongers. I'm going to bring it up here. I have it on open. So a Hong Konger billionaire, is there any other type of fucking billionaire? Like, you know, they're just all, everybody in Hong Kong seems to be a billionaire. It seems to be the easiest thing to be. It's like, yeah, well, you know what? We'll just, uh, we'll just do a bit of billionaire. Always. It's Hong Kong. Like what? It doesn't say, I think he's, he's into property or whatever. So I'm going to just share this page. 
So for the viewers, you'll get it, but I'll give it a quick read. So this mad bastard, right? Oh, and fucking leave it to the Asians, but they're fair up for it. I've been to Hong Kong, by the way. Have you? Did you not know that? Ah, uh, sure. I probably got told it now, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, back when I was young, Mr. Butterfly. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. I was in Hong Kong once, Mr. Butterfly. I... I was in the under 18s monster team. I was captain. Uh, I wasn't captain of the monster under 18 teams. What? I was captain of the monster under 18 team. We won the school's cup, the monster school's cup, and I was captain of that team. Oh, God. And you keep going on about it. I, I don't. You keep bringing it up. <laughs> you do. do I you fucking do. don't. Do. I don't. Anyway. This is a middle of a domestic, everybody, and I'm leaving a recording. So, Property Tycoon eyes Ireland as a new base for millions of Hong Kong citizens. So millions. This sounds sensationalized, I think, oh. right? Jesus, do you want to sound racist straight out the gate? Like? No, as in I don't want to make. No, I didn't mean uh, it like that. <laughs> Haro, Natasha. Stop it. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I don't want lots of millions of extra people in uh, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you. I if you. Oh, I can record it. I can go back. If you go back when you said millions, I went. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> oh, it's a liger. Okay, go on. Go on go okay, on. so Ar Ireland's being it. eyed as a location for a new city that would base potential millions of Hong Kong citizens, which are also known as Hong Kongers, as I found out today, considering to leave China's. As China tightens its grip on the city. Oh, that's right. So Hong Kong is still kind of its own thing, isn't it? It was British Hong Kong and they gave it back to me. I think they're just kind of fluting around doing their own thing. I don't think they're quite another country, but they're fucking loaded. Uh, the proposed charter city that would be its own regulation and tax regime. Cheeky cunts. I think Longford is like that. So like Hong Kong, which has thrived for free market the edge. Lad, he's some boss, this lad. Hong Kong properties at Tycoon. Ivan Ko. Ivan Ko. Yeah. Ivan Ko. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's reported to be scouring the globe for a location to create a new version of Hong Kong with Ireland top of the wish list. Ara, fuck off. There's no way, like, I mean, there's... We don't have room for, ah. for another million people. There's not enough land out there. I think they're, they're you should give them some old fucking bog and awfully something. No, give them grand. nothing. Give no one anything. Oh, you're, you're, wow. You were, uh, your right wing politics really comes to the surface here, aren't they? <laughs> fucking hell. Give them nothing. <laughs> Take from them everything. <laughs> no, I, anyway, anyway. Ireland has a, uh, yeah, structure based and special tax concessions. And no, it, Hang on, go go back. Mm -hmm. What? Ireland has had special economic zones in the past, including the Shannon Free Trade Zone. Yeah. What? Yeah, the there IFSC. was a thing. That's where they were they were snaking out a load of drugs, sure. In the the Shannon Free Trade Zone, or some snaking it in. Your man, that film. What was it, Mister Nice? For your man, he was. Uh, What's his name? Howard something or other. Howard Marks. He was, they were sneaking in a load of fucking hash in through Shannon. Shannon. However, these days, any structure based on special tax concessions. See, this is just a, this is no good of a fucking story at all. Essentially what this whore wants to do, let me just see, can I find a better version of this? He wants to, uh, where, that, where build a new city in Ireland for, see that says 50,000. Yeah, this is the more realistic one. Like your man sensationalized the fuck out of it. So, and where? So he wants to build it between Belfast and it would be called Nextopolis. <laughs> Hello, shit named a dictionary. Next, next police. <laughs> next police. <laughs> it doesn't say Nextropolis. I says Nextopolis or Next. <laughs> Nextpolis. Nextpolis? <laughs> oh shit, I read that totally like there was Next an O there. Nextpolis. Nextpolis. Jeez, man, I just improved your name. <laughs> yeah, actually. Nextopolis. Nextpolis. Nextpolis. Fucking Nextopolis. <laughs> Which would be located between Dublin and Belfast. Somewhere in the Irish countryside. Fuck. Ivan, yeah, go man. 
Dublin and Belfast. Well, we don't want to lift that direction, so. No, but this is a, a, 50, a 50 square kilometer stretch of land. That'd be fair size. House tens of thousands of Hong Kong residents looking to free their home. Uh, flee, free, I said free, and it's actually flee their home. I'm so fucking wrong. How, how many acres or hectares is 50 square kilometers? It's a lot. Roughly. Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is... I, I work in acres. But... I, listen, you're really making things interesting here for the podcast listeners. How many acres? <laughs> how... <laughs> acres in... A uh, square quadrata. Thomas, stop. Look, it's done now. <gasps> One square kilometer is almost 250 acres. My Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to basically buy loud. Which is go on to your fucking sell it to. No, no, you can't. Why not? Because it's just going to be high rise buildings. There's going to be more traffic, more pollution. They said they're going to make it totally autonomous. Like the fucking lawnmower at home in the parents' place. No. It's going to, there'll be little Johnny taxis, like things that are total recall. And they're only going, they're going to speak uh, Hong Kong ease, but yeah, I'm guessing it's, it's Chinese. This is madness. So it comes from, this is Ivan talking, right? To the Guardian. We write, Aaron, corporate tax is a very raw. You have very strong manufacturing and biomedical companies. Major tech giants have European headquarters there. Overall, we think that Ireland is very good. Can you imagine? Because they're going to they're gonna have Irish people who can speak Mandarin working there. Can you imagine the crossover of accent? From the Drahad. <laughs> the Drahad. Uh, oh, no. Sorry, I just... The, there were articles on the side and I phased out. Oh, you so, get caught by the articles on the oh, side, do terrible. you? terrible. Because I saw something about... Something yeah, but they knew you were looking at it. Like if it was me, it would be tools and fucking uh, boots, and the new Ford Ranger would be up the side. Yes. But they knew where you were looking at it. They could hear you. You're falling out of shot there. Just change the camera. Ever since. Can you just might be close to Daniel? Oh Jesus, that's lovely. <laughs> All right, that's not. <laughs> not anyway. I, I do smell. Imagine the crossover of language stuff. Hello! And then all of a sudden they meet somebody who's got the Zahad accent. And they're talking now about Mao's bows and then it crosses over into China. China. I like Drahada. Drahada. And they're going up there now to the crowds from Hong Kong and the lads from Hong Kong will be coming down into the town and they go, hey, how's it going? How want to go here? I <laughs> there is no crossover. It just becomes a mumble of hey. Huh? Huh. That's you look like that goat. Uh, 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 that goat. Yeah, you know the goat, I and there's water, and he's like, <laughs> the, the, uh, "Fuck that news! Never mind that news. What about the the spuds? We're looking <gasps> out the window at him here. To anybody who wants to witness Natasha's first spuds, go to my Instagram. It's one of the last pictures. Very, very happy, exciting. Happy spuds. They're little spuds. Happy, happy spuds. <laughs> 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 they were a little bit. Tough. <laughs> yeah, happy, happy spuds. How happy were they when they got gobbled? Happy in my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no more tea for Natasha. <laughs> yeah, I know. There is none. You're off your... No views and laugh. No, I'm... Yeah, okay. You can have that. Thank you. You're an absolute animal. That's my half cup of tea now you're drinking. That's my original cup of tea from earlier. That is now three and a half cups of tea in the space of 40 minutes. Thank you. Stop clacking it down on the table. That's for just table mats. I'm sorry. It's, it's not for me. It's for the people's ears that might be listening on a bus. We're going, what did they, she just... You know what you do is give out to me on these podcasts. You know, Natasha, do people really want you back on the podcast? And I'm like, Tom, I don't believe that. But, yeah, no, you know, they, 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 they really want you. I'm getting lovely messages, but you won't show me. I don't know I don't what, why real. suddenly I became, I was some bloke from Birmingham there. Do you know? <laughs> I don't no, what is Birmingham. it? Birmingham. No, what is it? Who was your man that had, was he a comedian years ago? Is it like just Pasquale? He spoke like that. <gasps> Who was it? This, no, oh, ben, Betty. Uh, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Spencer. Frank Spencer. I love Frankie. Why did I turn into Frank Spencer? 
<laughs> the spuds were a roaring success so far anyway probably pulled them up a small bit too early but but we have to because we we put too many in yeah we made again anybody who follows the old instagram we made um what you call them raise raid beds raise beds out of pallets yeah. pallets pallets uh, we made <laughs> Do you know, actually, back in the day when I, I drank and I went out socialising and night clubbing and whatnot, she was on the telly. The one with the big shoulders? Yeah, her father... This was in the Dragon's Den. Or was yes, it, is her, her father f- owned Eddie Stobart. Yeah, she smells like that. Oh, she's amazing. She? But I always wore... You, actually, when we met, I used to wear those, like, power... What? Power <laughs> jackets. I thought you were just fucking... <laughs> Friendly, the audio listeners, Natasha was doing, like... A fucking, like, a knife hand cut hi, 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 while trying to depict her shoulders being <laughs> fucking square. Anyway, I had these big ones and I, I got around drunk and go, oh <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that woman ever once said pellets, did she? It was somebody who was taking the piss out of her, like, no. Did they? She was, it must have. Anyway. I know, she's the one, she, she was the one, she looked a bit like Cruella de Vil. She was one of the English dragons, but she had, yeah, she, she went on about, I slept in my car trying to get my business started. And uh, I bring it up right now, but we got pulled from... In- she? She, she didn't have hold. No, said, no, she couldn't have said that. She Genuinely, you're one that looked like Cruella de Vil. Let me just see, can I find her? Uh, I actually thought she looked like an older version of me. Dragon. Oh, Christ. There you go. Right, we're in for some treat here. In a couple of years. All right, love. Dragon's Den cast. Uh, Eddie Stober? Yeah. And he stole back the trucking crowd. Do you know he has his own CD out? He's passed. Yeah, okay. And he doesn't have it out. But Hilary DeVay. That's it. Hilary DeVay. Title Chief Executive. Of, oh, does Tesco on to Eddie Stoblatt? It's sticking with uh, Hilary DeVay. What's to crack with her? Oh. Jesus Christ, if she owns that. She owns Eddie Ho- Yeah. Oh, no. Some guy, Andrew Tinkler. (laughs) (laughs) Lovely. (laughs) What's lovely about somebody who sounds like they're pissing? It sounds like a little elf name. So she CEO? No, somebody called Warwick Bray. Okay, I don't know when she owned it. But she made out anyway that she had a slot to my car to make me millions. Uh, What's her name? Hillary. Look, if if all we have to do is sleep in our car. Yeah, fucking hell. Do they... Sorry, uh, no. she, ah, she's brilliant. Man, she's had some amount of builders in. Look at that fucking face. Do you not she's... think that looks like me when I'm like 55? Uh, maybe, I don't know. She has eyelashes. And she's wrecked. She's got, and she's no more 55. Listen, coming from a man that fancied one of the golden girls, <laughs> okay, she's a little hottie toddy. Oh, gee, she, she's milled through the men as well. Uh, 1976 1978 she was married to Malcolm Sharples and two men Philip Childs he lasted two years as well was that your man Childs the DJ what Robert Miles children (laughs) (laughs) that am I right it's a part that is my perfect example of the fucking madness of Natasha Robert Miles. <laughs> I know we're gonna get pulled off you. We're gonna get we're gonna get pulled oh, that off. Was some tunes. Off you. Oh my. just for anybody going, what the Robert Miles, I remember that. This is gonna get pulled from YouTube. I know it is, but we'll play ten seconds of it. Robert Miles. Okay, there'll be an ad here at some point. Oh, shut up. When I hear, go fuck yourself. Oh, let's... Sh- oh, that was a weird picture. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's definitely going to get pulled. Hi, <laughs> Robert. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> no, you're not playing the piano. I'm playing the air and piano. And that, that's enough of that. <laughs> Why uh, is there not an air piano game? Why is it always air guitar? Because uh, only nerds play pianos and cool guys play guitars. I don't, I, I don't know. I can't answer that. Yeah. I don't think it's right. But then, of course, you have the mixture of the, the guitar, which is like the keyboard and the guitar. Guitar. Guitar, yeah. Guitar. Guitar. It's a keyboard. Guitar. That's it. Guitar is phlegm and a place in the Amaranth. No, guitar is the small little guitar. You know the little ones? Guitar. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure it's... Anyway, going back to fucking Robert Childs. Robert Childs. Yes. That now, there in case in point... Her is, husband. ...is the madness of Natasha. <laughs> when I explain exactly what I, what... When I tell people the stages... I mean, we talked about the Kevin Fry situation. Yes. Or the Kevin Bacon situation. And actually, it was Ethan Hawke we were talking about. Mm-hmm. See how fast I was there? It's a DJ. Robert Childs. Okay, oh, Philip, anyway. And I'm sorry, it's actually Philip Childs. Where did you get the jump? Childs. I saw Childs and I thought... I saw a child. <laughs> I saw a couple of Childs. Uh, <gasps> she oh. had a stroke and lost a third of her brain. Jesus Christ. Brain. <laughs> Dick. Is there any... Dick. Uh, no, oh, d- babe, you need to kind of... <laughs> You need to tell the people of the podcast why you're shouting the word dick. <laughs> Not everybody's inside your head. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, people are going, is this what? Well, you didn't really explain to me a podcast. So I'm just yapping to you just normally. Yeah, but people hear in real time. Okay, so like, I oh, said like, brain. Yeah. And then I thought of Angel. From... To escape to the chateau. Exactly. Who's married to Dick. Dick Strawbridge. Strawbridge. And she can't pronounce her R's no. and she's constantly saying Dick. Dick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't you can't just sneak up on people. They're going, why is that woman shouting Dick? <laughs> just went brain and then Dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel like a silly goose. <laughs> no, you just need to be. Isn't it fun? <laughs> ah, listen. You... <laughs> I don't know. You just read out the title of an article. <laughs> Isn't it fun? And you didn't say anything, so you're also confusing. Sorry, I beg your pardon. I'm looking up just Hillary <laughs> Devane here for the for the Patreon viewers. You will get to see what I'm about to show. If you can't think who the fuck I'm talking about, this is who Natasha thinks she's going to look like. Yes. In her fifties, this is like Hillary. I hate to tell you, is probably about 102. She's younger than my mother. Man. She was born in 57. As they say in the horsing world, she was rode hard and put away with that woman. Good lord. Look at that. Look at that schnoz. I think she's fab. she got nice eye earrings and a good necklace. And fabulous shoulder pads. What's with all this blushery red stuff? Like she looks, she looks like a who? No, she looks a bit. You, you are just so mean to how people look. Okay, hold on now. Hold on now. You said to me, the beautiful (laughs) child on the cover of a book I'm reading looked like Freddy Krueger. He did a little. And he's lovely. And then I took it back by saying he was more of like a mid-30s alcoholic. He looked like, what's his name? Now you tell me that's a beautiful face. (laughs) Do you know, I'm just saying, just saying. Here, click on that one to show everyone. What? This, this picture is lovely. She looks like, and I'm not even going to say because I don't even know her name. Go on, attempt her name, who you're, who you're talking you about. You won't actually know. Oh, I won't know? No. Okay, so that, that's going to make no sense at all. I'm just saying, that child looked like Phil Mitchell. Oh, yeah. He did, he did look like Phil Mitchell. But it's very mean. No, it's not. What's wrong with Phil Mitchell? He's a very successful actor. Okay, well, maybe because you started with Kruger. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But he just... He, just saying, they're, sometimes they're model choice of these children. Mm-hmm. Mm, what are they trying to sell? Do you know? 
Sell me just a creepy child. Nightmares. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Kruger, baby. Was I, I don't even know how we ended up over in Hillary DeVay's fucking land anyway. How did that happen? I had no intention to talk about her. I don't know. She has nothing. We actually wrote down some notes. Okay, okay. Here's a game. Eurovision. Do you know the way you're... People's ears. People are listening on buses. I'm sorry. You and you're just that. Bang, bang and... I, I'm just saying. Well, then don't have me on the podcast if I'm very bad at it. it just busting people's ears. I would love to be in pyjamas right now with no makeup on. Right. Fair enough. Oh, there's the dog. Come here, dog. There's my little sweetie bums. Come here. You look great. She's yeah. like, finally, that baby has gone to bed and I can have all your attention. Aww. Not really. There's a whole pile oh, of podcast. The Reno's are listening to this. Mono. And baby went to bed three hours ago. Oh. Yeah. And you're right, cutie bums. You need a haircut. Mm -hmm. It's just talking to the dog. 101. This is how you prepare for a child. Anybody think about having a child? Yes. Just have a dog that you completely mammy the shit out of. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're so <laughs> The dog, thank God we got all our bad habits out on the dog anyway. Dog is mental. Hopefully. The child yeah. seems to be, yeah. Yeah, the dog unfortunately mm -hmm. seems to have some issues. Oh, she, she's gone. You have no hope of discipline. And that is why she needs a doggy friend. We're not getting more dogs. Can we sure. just, can we just, okay. Podcast listeners, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Well, not really, but still, we can't go to work. And you're suggesting we go and get another dog on top of heaven. What do you think? You think grand we'll just throw another doggy in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, we don't really have the money for another dog, unfortunately. Because so the dog you it. want is a monster. Yeah. Yeah. Tell everybody what kind of dog you want. The actual dog you want. Go on. Well, I mean, I'd love any other dog. Yeah, yeah. As well. What was the dog you wanted? I have two. Okay. Um, I want an Irish wolfhound. Yes. Oh, stunning. And a Great Dane. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My wife wants to take out a mortgage to buy two fucking dogs. Yes. Yeah. So if anybody has any stables going for free, we might be able to get our hands on one of these dogs and or just put a saddle have, on it. If they have either puppies that need homes. Of an Irish wolfhound. I, wolf I say puppies because, you know, with Fionn, you have An Irish wolfhound. Mm-hmm. Or a great day. Yeah. But I just put the leash out the window of the car and just drive. Look at the face on that dog. I look, look what you just did. Talking about having children and the poor dog just pie. looks at you like you pissed in her fucking... In her, her fucking... Her kibbles. Yeah. You wanted to play a game? Yes, I, I have invented a game. Okay. So, we watched that amazing film Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it is a good show. I'd, I'd probably watch it again in no time <laughs> soon, though. It's actually, yeah. Is anybody hasn't seen... Is it on... Was it on Netflix? Netflix. Go watch it. It's a bright bit of crack. Have a few drinks. It's better than the Eurovision. It would make you want to go back to loving the Eurovision again when we were young. Yeah, it made me want to watch the Eurovision. But the Eurovision I've not seen it for years. Yeah, but it's gone to fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, like and that is why, that is why it needs two Irish people to go on yeah. and sing an amazingly unique song, which is also a bit of crack, has a bit of comedy to it. Bit of dancing. Where is this going? We know lots of dancers, actually. I think, I think, first of all, we should make this a game where two of us have to write down words. The other one can't see until it's their turn to ablib quickly a song. A from verse, this word. A verse. Three words. Okay. And then I think going on from here, people should send us in words or, or like random words or random subject matters. And then we have to come up with songs. And then eventually we'll come up with the best Eurovision song that will, will, will win the Eurovision. Uh, what, and mu music of any sort? Do we just... We will need some help with that. Alopecia? Are we just going alopecia? We need some help. Al alpaca? What is it? You did music in school. When you do it without music. A cappella. I was thinking al dente. <laughs> And then I started thinking of carrots. I like al dente. <laughs> pallets! I like pallets! I like carrots! <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah, word. Okay. okay. Okay, I'll give you a word. Okay. I'll give you a word. Well, you're supposed to give me three words so I can do a verse. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know why I'm looking away. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because no. I'm going to see them now in a sec. Yeah, it does. This is a fairy who gave 
But you know what? Even for people listening, they could play this game as well. Jesus Christ. When did you turn this into <laughs> a CBeebies for the show? <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> Mummy's having a little drink. <laughs> Why don't you take a drink too? Look, 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 look. I would love to be a children's TV presenter. Hi. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Butterfly. How can I become a presenter? Mummy's having a little drinky winky in the middle of the day. Oh, Jamie Mac. Hello, Hello, children. Alcohol. Hello, children. So, like I was saying, let's just display. Uh -huh. uh, so, just like, you know, the way we do it with Fionn, we make up these random words and songs. And uh, yes, fucking what? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so my three words that I've chosen for you to put into a Eurovision style song are Spuds. <laughs> Spuds. <laughs> Spuds. <laughs> and Hong Kong. D dog, come out of it. <laughs> okay. I'm just so I'm trying to think of a tune I do. The dog even has her hand on your shoulder going, don't do it. She's supporting me. No, she's not. No, she's, she's like, do it, mummy. You can do it, mummy. Okay. okay. When we see, can we get a, a random tune? Yes. Okay. That's a great idea. Oh, oh no, it probably won't play. No, it won't. Actually, we'll get taken straight okay. off. Okay. Okay, so you. I <laughs> choo <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'll choo 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 okay. <laughs> Where the fuck did you get that? Did you not hear the rope? No. <laughs> I'm running down my shirt. I've had it hidden and it's all kind of wet. <laughs> not because of my legs, but because of the inside. Oh my god. <laughs> Show everybody again. Oh yes. Natasha's had hidden for the last half an hour, 40 minutes, a big rubber Hulk hand down the side of the fucking table. You just said. I don't even know which way to turn it. To move it. The dog is going to bite the shit out of that. Oh, wait. People yeah. can't see that in this. The dog is going to okay, bite. Okay, okay, okay. My turn. Oh, Three God. words. You ready? Yeah. Now, try and beat that, eh? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Pretty epic. Okay. Jeez, no pressure. No pressure. Anytime. Yeah, look, this, this is just like. I have no props now. You that's, have the dog. That's totally cheating. You have the dog. Okay, I have the dog. Fair it's enough. not cheating, it's creative genius. Okay, just like that, uh, was it the Israeli one that had, she was fat on? With, oh, the, don't say with that. the pigtails. Okay, she was big boned and she had all those cats in the background, you know, the Chinese cats. Yes, she did. That was actually a fun She's She is really, but they were going to ban her because of her whole stance on Palestine. I believe so. Because, of course, how, how did Israel get into the Eurovision? How did any of these places that aren't in Europe get into the Eurovision? How did, was that? When did they just lift that rule? I see you. I see you. No, you're supposed to say, I see you too. I see you too. Uh, uh, there you are. There you are. I'm checking you out. I'm checking you out. Creepy. That got I creepy. got it wrong. It's yeah, fair, it, I am. it got creepy both four times. Sorry, now I'm trying to. I'm trying to think here. You're, okay, you're I have right three words. The game. Okay, all right. I didn't make up my words before. Okay, deer. Is that a four or an elf? Elf and baroness. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so I have to do your tune. Sorry, okay. I have to do a tune. Um... <laughs> Just went into my throat. Okay, okay, you ready? Go on. I need, I need calm. Okay. <clears throat> the dog is freaking out. Go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to close your eyes. Most people will be listening to this. <laughs> no, it's me getting into oh, the okay, zone. Right. Okay. 
<laughs> have a bit of volume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it to jump in. <laughs> you stop laughing in the middle of it. I'm supposed to get. It's part of the background. <laughs> I'm supposed to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> give me a chance. Come on, I I'm give you. I'm doing it. I'm okay, doing right. it. Okay, okay. okay, I'm going to be totally serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with your hand. You're waxing the inside of your hand or something. What is that? Okay, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, maybe just, do you know, I'm going to tap. I'm going to tap my tune. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Drums. You're maxing out the speaker. Oh, sorry. Tap on the side of the cup over Hang there. On. Tap on the side of the cup over there. Is that okay? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's so catchy. I don't know how I can put a song together with that. <laughs> there was a deer and an elf who didn't like the show. He spoke to the deer, talked to the queer. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I just saw three e two e's three together. Three e's happy. That's fine. Go on. It's a queer. <laughs> okay. Just one last word. It wasn't until he fell in less because of the fluffy butter nails. Lovely. There we go. Hurrah. Yeah, right, Doug. Whew. That was fun. That was one of the greatest things that's ever happened on a podcast, I'd say, <laughs> ever. I would say so. I've no idea how long we've done. How long have we done? I didn't even set the recorder. Oh, it's I mean, just. Would it not say on this? No, no, this just uses a mic. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we, we, yeah, that's that in the way of what in the fuck just happened. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> we, Welcome to my world. So we need to check out because I'm after getting, because I don't know if, any, if, if I've talked about it a few times, the, where we went on our anniversary was it two years ago. Um, it's our first anniversary. Was it? Yeah. I don't know. We went We're to, married three years. we went to Leitrim. Two years. Yeah. Went to Leitrim and we went to a place called was it Pink Apple Orchard or something? I think it was Pink Apple Orchard. It's <coughs> just, highly recommend it. It's yeah, I like. Let me just double check. God, that fucking face just popped up again. Good lord, the pink. I think it was Pink Apple Orchard. Um, give that a go. Yort and glamping. There we go. Yeah, yort, yort. So yeah, it is the Pink Apple Orchard, and they do, they have a Hobbit house. We stayed there, and it was kind of since then, well, I suppose it's Lord. Oh yeah, you visited two years ago, that's creepy. Jesus, that is creepy. Wow. I think that's because Google Maps is connected to... Electrolytes? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it connected through your phone? And then it connects, they send you... Yeah. Mo yeah. Oh, sorry, you don't need an No, I don't, I don't. Thank you very much. No, no, you're spot on, Pet. You're absolutely spot that's on. That's creepy. The, have, give it a look. It's class, but we were, it was only somebody was telling me the other day, because there was, I met the owner of the guy who has the Shire, I think. Isn't it Shire down at Clarny? Clarny? Is there not one in Kerry? Where does your friend live? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> People can Good night, say, folks. Thank you for listening. Good night. Thank you very much. And uh, that's all that. So let me do... I'm really tired. I, do you know I haven't had enough tea? It's, you are quite tired. In fairness, you have... The, the, the child has had you run ragged. In fairness. Kalane. I spelled that wrong. Yeah. Just, whatever you do, don't help me out anyway. It's typing. <laughs> huh? Just sitting there sucking tea. <laughs> I'm drinking water. You took the tea away. Oh, okay. Kalarni. And just typed in the shower. Yeah, I know. I know. It's lovely. Yeah. Do you know what? There this is... grinds my gears, Thomas. I knew this was going to grind your gears. Oh, this is the one with the bar. Yeah, well, it's, Sorry, I it's was like talking... a hostel. Yeah. Oh, look. I was talking... What? It's four blokes. No, that's your man. Gollum. Gollum. He's after putting on a bit of fucking weight, I tell you, since, uh, since the old movie. No, I was talking about the one where they've 
they have a village of a hobbit house. It's a place we went, there was only one hobbit house and they were the first in Ireland to do it. Okay, tell me about that. Yeah. But it's grinding my gears, Thomas, because this was my plan Yonky Doodles ago. I know, you've always wanted to open hop. So if anybody wants to give us uh, some land with a hill, I'm sure. going to build some uh, hobbit houses. So oh, that would... Or even just the money to do it. We'll get it someday. Oh no, we will. Uh, yeah, hobbit house. We're uh, counted down is what I was to- being told. So we have a lot of northern listeners. So lads, if you know... If you know about fucking hobbits, Mayo Glamping. So they have a hobbit hut, fair enough. I, yeah. Jeez, Mayo. Oh, is that the village? Hobbit style dream, County Donegal. Mm, somebody could have been... there's a few of them. Yeah, people have gone mad. Oh, yes, I've seen that one. Oh, yeah, there's a sheep on top of that one. So that's in County Donegal. It's incredible. So th- we'll have to do a hobbit tour, like go around to all these hobbit places and maybe do an actual vlog of all the hobbit and see the standard because you know i, I mean? still have the hobbit feet slippers oh that's a good one look at that one in mayo uh, we were looking at that before covid so pretty cool. we were <clears throat> you told me about it and actually your sister had booked together with the kids oh fuck it right Molly more eustace it's fucking clear isn't it that's not far. i did a gig there once it was weird people a lot of money oh. that is not a fucking hobbit house <laughs> no, Hobbit Hollow. That's a nice name, though, isn't it? Yeah, but you're fairly you're pulling. Fairy the... River Glamping. Fairy River Glamping. Yuri. Hi. <gasps> oh, wisey wisers. Wowsy wowsers. Fucking... <laughs> Stop. This is Bora. That looks like a place. Um, that looks like a place in Spain, isn't it? it looks a bit Spain slash Greeky. It's nearly too fancy for me. You like a good old shithole, don't you, pet? <laughs> What's that? Is that in Ireland? Guaranteed it's not. No. Oh, I know it is. It is. I think it's only just, um, I don't, I don't know. It's close enough. It's <gasps> close enough. Stay there. Let's just see. Mm, let's have a look into it. This is making very interesting listening for the podcast listeners, of course. My heart. So this is, is a Bangor amazing. roundhouse. Where, let's, uh, let's just have a little look-see here. <gasps> Reciprocal roof. We, we spent, we spent, oh. Over a year living off grid in a horse lorry on a friend's farm in Bangor, Northern Ireland. Da 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 da. Hobbit House. And I'd been to Lammas in Wales to work as a volunteer. What's that? <laughs> there's, there's, there's a deer eating in the forest. <laughs> there's a deer eating apples in the forest. We have to go off the phone, Ross. Oh, For yeah. any, any friends, uh, watch them call it. Okay, so this is just now vlog how to build the fucking thing. Yeah, but it's lovely. It's Stop. not really a hobbit house. I fucking build that joke my eyes closed. Would you go out of that? Am I making a fucking big deal about it? Do you know what? You keep telling me this and I keep asking you, you to just... Just let's, you know... Build an old pooty walled shack. But I'm not putting pooty walls into it. <clears throat> Why not? That's what they did back in the day. They did, and today is the day. It's not back in the day. It is today is the... Today's day. Well, let's bring things back to the day. Take it back. Take it back out, y'all. Thank you for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done an hour, haven't we? I don't know. I think we have. Is it I, time for tea? It's time for more tea. And I, the funny feeling that the dog wants to head out. Yes. Apologies if we haven't done an hour. I genuinely haven't timed it. I have no idea. But the dog is meandering around the place. And, and I have some new pajamas to put on. Oh, the excitement. And take it from me. I tell you one thing, stuff. The wildness never fucking stops around here. New pajamas. Yahoo! The dog gets to go out. And we have tea. And sports. And, sh- and sports. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing. But that's news for another podcast. Oh, it is news for another podcast. She's practicing. Oh, she's just... Fucking Aww. Poor bastard dog. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for listening. There will be, you have a bunch of stuff coming to your way. There's Hard Enough Podcasts. There's a sideshow. And there's videos of all will be out on the Patreon page. So thank you very much. Once again, thank you very much to Big Dave for very generous offer if somebody would like to make another one it's all going towards a good thing and it's oh, if you treat it as a subscription to getting the thing i don't know look i fucking hate i it's such an un-irish thing to go yeah. do you know what's class you remind me of when i was a kid and i went on holidays it's you don't want like i mean i know and i listen to podcasts and that i don't i, I know there's a few I, all my my mates ones i pay towards their patreon because it's just good to do that even though it's they pay towards mine so it's good <laughs> 
But isn't it kind of rude? You know, if you pass a busker and they're entertaining you, where the oh, well, however yeah. long you yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. them, yeah, 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 yeah. But people, it's an old euro, two euro. It's just polite. Yeah, but you know what? Like people fucking love a musician. I mean, people, people will never love a comedian like they love a musician. They just don't. They just don't like. And that's why we're making this a musical podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how I was kind of getting all the music in tonight? I tell you one thing, yeah, you, you certainly got it in there with the, the tapping. Your song was far better than my song, but then I feel my backing track was superior. I, and you I, produced a fucking giant rubber hand in the middle of it. <laughs> I actually thought your song was fab. Sorry, sweetheart. Sorry. Oh, baby, how'd you feel good over there? This is the dog now has entered the podcast once more time. So if you are new to the podcast, hit subscribe. You know yourself, whatever platform you're listening to. What do you... What's going on? The rubber. <laughs> the, the, it's rank, isn't it? When you look at it on the screen, get the fucking thing off my face. Smell it. No, I'm not smell. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> smell my fingers. Palette. <laughs> Hit subscribe. Uh, Whole self, I suppose you'll be back on a bit more now. I suppose it's time to honestly, only if people want me because you know, I don't want to be annoying people. Oh, that's gonna happen in a regard, it's like, but just they still might want you. Oh, like, like how yeah. I annoy you? Oh, I annoy the shit out of everybody, I annoy the shit out of people, so they still listen, they still listen, and that's all that counts. If you don't fancy uh, contributing to the podcast, that's fair enough. I understand we're in tough times at the minute, lads, but sharing it. Share it. Tell everybody about it. Send a screen grab, throw it up on your stories, tag me in it, tag the podcast. You know yourself, Tom O'Mahony Comedy or Bookshop Podcast will find it. Same over on the old Twitter or on Facebook. There's, I don't think I have a Facebook page for this. I said, fuck enough going on, lads. And, and if you can do the song game as well. Instead yeah. If, the, if you want to put together three random words and do it, give us a style. Give us a style and we'll look it up beforehand. A style of Eurovision song that has gone on beforehand. I, and also if people want to play the game too and send us the song. That, oh, how cool would that be? I'm not sure everybody can do that. that that's pretty talented well, stuff. Yeah, like that yeah. is uh, it's pretty talented. Yeah. I guarantee you everybody will just message in. What was that crowd? <laughs> Go, please never do that again. What were they called? Were they Lordy? <gasps> roar, roar, roar. Yes, yeah. see, that's what I'm talking about. I will dress up and go in the Eurovision. There, you heard it here, folks. No, I honestly, do you not think this would be incredible? Oh, no, I know. I'm, you're way too into this. Oh. <laughs> I actually am sorry. You're getting all jumpy on the seat, never. You're like, I swear to God, I know I could do this. But you see, that's why you know, if I am going to be on the podcast, if we talk about stuff I'm actually interested in, I can be all like how I am during the day, animated. Okay. You okay. know, not okay. just... Mm. Yeah, not just... Mm. Like, you know when I'm a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's been the podcast. So you know the crack. You know the crack at this stage if you are listening to Apple Podcasts, which I think is the only one you can give a rating. But I don't know why they all don't do it, like CastBox and all the rest of it. We're everywhere. We're everywhere at the minute. You cannot not find us. Go over to the YouTube channel. That's a handy one to actually... Because everything pops up there. Everything pops up there. Cooking videos gonna try if we can get free up a bit of time on sunday i'm gonna try and do a ribs video i'm definitely gonna put together the barbecue sauce video i'm giving away my secret barbecue sauce and i do you remember your friend even asked do you how does tom make the barbecue sauce i was like why are you giving it away do you know what but what do, now you can never mass produce your barbecue sauce yeah i know but it's like it, it takes a certain you know it takes a while to even get the get it right right but sure look at it. it's nice to give things away People can have my barbecue sauce recipe. I'm going to do that definitely this weekend. But if I have time to film, because cooking and film are two completely different fucking things. So if I can do that as well while cooking ribs, because hopefully we're having ribs and visitors on Sunday. There you have it. Subscribe, share, be lovely. Have a lovely weekend. God bless. Tillies.